Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you all for coming here to our opening ceremony. Um, my name is Romeo, and here with me is my partner, Scotty Yoon. And we are proud to announce Polyhack and to kickstart this wonderful hackathon. Polyhack is a global virtual hackathon. In fact, this is our genesis, GDSC Polyhack, start of a hopeful generation for the PolyU hackathon. Hosted by the D Google Developer Student Club, and co-organized by the Knowledge Transfer and Entrepreneurship Office and CESEF of PolyU. This is made possible by our diamond sponsors, Deloitte Digital and ServiceNow, and our platinum sponsors, Huawei, Google Cloud, Quantech Capital, PolyU Community as a Practice, and RS Components. And a huge thanks to our supporting organizations, PolyU's Educational Development Center, Rio, Faculty of Engineering, Department of Computing, Exposure Studio Production, Toastmasters, and Hong Kong Blockchain Society. We are a young group of ambitious developers, and we aim to foster collaborative spirit for the local impact. So we've done a lot throughout the 10 months that we've been on campus. In fact, Leadership not only gives direction, but it instills life into an organization. They define the culture and characteristics of membership. So our team at, at GDSC PolyU is a group of 17 student leaders of eight different regions with a truly international identity. Our group of hackers, hustlers, and hipsters are split 50-50 in terms of gender ratio as well. So throughout the year, we have garnered 300 members. Despite the advent of COVID and international lockdown, our group never stopped moving towards our goal of uniting people with technology. In fact, we were able to use a situation of COVID to truly garner international attention. Students from different campuses worldwide in the GDSE network joined many of our online and hybrid events. It proved to us that what, where there's a will, there is a way and the enthusiastic culture we've created at PolyU attracts similar-minded students worldwide. So throughout the year, we've held around 12 events in at least one, one division. We have seven divisions total, ARVR, AI, blockchain, cybersecurity, IoT and hardware, UI UX, and web development. And this whole organization is run by 17 student leaders. So some people ask us, why Polyhack? Why does GDSC PolyU want to build a fully student-run hackathon from scratch? Well, the answer is simple. We saw a lack of creative release of the student body during lockdowns. And this Polyhack, this was our response. We decided this, this is the time where we come together to build for the better future with innovation. Our team has joined multiple hackathons in the past. And this time we want to build something different which leads to the following three main pillars. Polyhack is a global hackathon with community spirit and peer support. Because we realize that these are what makes a hack special and inspiring. Polyhack helps you build long lasting relationships, not only with your peers, but with industry professionals. With participants coming from a wide spectrum of domain and technical level, you are guaranteed to meet people from, uh, from other, other from your discipline. And our goal, we want to help you build solutions that help your community, but also one that makes an impact in the global scale. Moreover, through the two weeks workshop, talk panel and mentorships, we expect you to grow and learn, to see something that is outside your school curriculum. And of course, being a global hackathon, we want to make sure that you make connections and relationships across the world, where everyone say, shares the same vision and goal to innovation. Polyhack's organizing team is a team of poly students from different regions, disciplines, and backgrounds. Spanning across multiple time zones, you and your team are rest assured that you will be supported through our Discord channel anytime. So let's start our welcoming speeches. Our event will not be possible. 
without the help of our co-organizers and sponsors. We would like to welcome our distinguished guests and welcoming speeches. Our first speaker is Professor Christopher Chow, who is the president and chair professor of thermal and environmental engineering of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Professor Chow, please. Good morning, everyone. I'm very glad today to attend the opening ceremony of the Polyhack 2022, hosted by the Google Developer Student Club of PolyU on behalf of the university. I think this is a great example of a student-led activity. As a home for educating thinkers, discoverers, innovators, and communicators in delivering positive impact. PolyU are always committed to nurturing today's leaders through a holistic education by providing a wide range of opportunities and support to our students. We strive in interdisciplinary research and impactful innovations to address real world challenges. Our researchers are developing breakthrough ideas, fostering sustainability, lifting economic outcomes, and improving communities' lives for the benefit of Hong Kong, the nation, and the world. I'm really happy to see this hackathon competition organized by our students, where its objective and goal match with the university's vision and mission in cultivating young talents. Technology innovation and development advances rapidly in the new era. As a group of ambitious young generation and the pillars of society, you have to equip yourself better in a more challenging world. With the theme, Life in 4.0, I believe you may experience Life 5.0, 6.0, and etc. In your generation, I hope this event is your first small step towards your big dream in inspiring and implementing your creative ideas. All in all, I would like to take this chance to thank all the sponsors and supporting organizations, especially Huawei, who is our strategic partner and always be very supportive. I wish you all a fruitful and enjoyable two weeks with a lot of fun and friendship. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Chow, for encouragement and your ongoing support. Next is Mr. Paul Wang. He is the head of entrepreneur development at KTEO. He drives the entrepreneurship development of PolyU, building a holistic education to an acceleration support system for student innovation and research commercialization. Mr. Wang, please. Thank you, Romeo. Um, can everybody hear me clearly? Yes. So um, thanks. So, so I'm very happy to be here to witness this uh, great student-run uh, event. And uh, I have to say that uh, the um, student organizers have done a wonderful job. We have been supporting them for the last couple of months, and we witnessed their um, hardship and uh, efforts. So, um, but I would also like to take this opportunity to uh, share a little bit uh, about our ecosystem and PolyU, so that so once you finish this uh, wonderful ideation journey, you can actually take a ride on our ecosystem and uh, have more support from the university. So may I share my uh, screen? Yes. Yes. So, so I have a couple of slides to run through so that to give you a brief idea about what we are going to have in the next three years. So this is called PolyVentures 2025. 20, uh, so it outlines uh, the three-year strategic plan for entrepreneurship development. So it also contains a lot of opportunities for the uh, students or innovators who ever wanted to tap into this ecosystem. You all know that PolyU has a very strong focus on the uh, society, societal impact. So that's uh, we emphasize on uh, the students, researchers turning their ideas into real world impact. And this is a snapshot about uh, what we have already done for the past 10 years. We have supported uh, quite a number of startups, uh, cumulatively about 400 of them. And uh, about four unicorns out of the 18 uh, uh, related to Hong Kong, we have four related to PolyU. So, so this is something we also take proud of. 
um, by 2025, we are targeting to nurture each year 20 research tech based startups and groom 25 impactful scale ups in the GPA by three years. So the idea is basically the three step and you are currently in the step one It's innovation and entrepreneurship education and ideation stage. By this stage, we have by supporting the student run activities like this or hosting different kinds of educational events, we are hopefully to groom 300 innovation seeds every year and eventually pipeline many interesting ideas into the pre-incubation or incubation stage. And eventually we also have the later on investment support to grow them further with the uh, about 20 deep plus deep technology ventures. So um, we also hosted it, supported this type of events for ideation, or we hosted uh, our own events, um, exciting the st uh, student community to work on different ideas. Of course, every time we have a different focus. Um, so welcome to stay tuned. So if there are future opportunities, please also um, participate. And after this event, as a matter of fact, for all the winning teams of the Polyhack, you will get a chance guaranteed ticket to the proof of concept 2.0. It, um, it, it has the cash prices, also some training elements in it. So that can further prepare you to turn your ideas into some proper, uh, prototype. And eventually, if you are serious uh, considering uh, doing a startup of all this journey, please uh, join our microphone journey. So this is a pre-incubation stage. It will take you uh, to further five week market validation journey and coupled with 100,000 Hong Kong dollars to really validate uh, your ideas with the market and eventually pipeline into the science park or cyberport incubation so that you can basically take your idea and fly. Um, in the later stage, we also have some investment supporting schemes, but that are, um, we will leave it at the later stage so that you can explore further. And also uh, the good news for you is that you feel free, please feel free to use our facilities on campus. Um, I understand that currently we are still in the hybrid mode, but when the campus is reopened, please uh, come join us on campus, the fourth floor of the Innovation Tower. Um, feel free to use that facilities. We also have a long lasting uh, talent matching platform. So in case you need to uh, recruit some new team members, you can just log in, uh, pull you innovators to change and set that. Uh, so um, so basically that's all the short commercials I wanted to do with the PolyU uh, ecosystem and uh, enjoy the ride and enjoy the next two weeks. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wan. Um, let me reshare my screen. Yes. So Mr. Wong, I, I really truly appreciate the vision that we have. I, I think we can go really far with this partnership and hopefully the projects from Polyhack may be fast-tracked in your program as well. So our next speaker, um, our next speaker is Mr. Alan Wong who leads the Deloitte Digital Practice in Hong Kong, as well as the Salesforce Practice in the APAC region, and has extensive knowledge and experience in working with ex executives in the formation of digital transformation with a customer-centric approach. Mr. Alan Wong, please. Oh, uh, you're muted. Yeah, no, sorry. Um, hope you can hear me all right. And uh, hi, everybody. And uh, good, good, good seeing you virtually, at least uh, today. And uh, it's my pleasure to be here and uh, talk to you about you know, Deloitte Digital and uh, and how we help uh, you know solve the world's problem. Um, so uh, you know as uh, as I was introduced, right? So so I lead up uh, our Deloitte Digital practice here in Hong Kong, as well as uh, well which um, which also like I also in, um, also look after our Hong Kong consulting practice. 
And when, when you hear about the void, right, you know, a lot of you may, may be hearing about, hey, is it one of the big fours? You know, is it an accounting firm? Actually, just to clarify and, you know, to make sure that everyone understands, actually our consulting practice is even bigger than our audit practice. And Deloitte Digital is one of the key, you know, fundamental of how we're doing business nowadays to, uh, to our clients. And, uh, and actually go down one slide, yeah. And uh, just to give you a very, you know, quick glimpse in terms of, you know, what is Deloitte Digital about, right? So, so then you understand more uh, where we come from. And actually, like, you know, here in Hong Kong, we have around 300 people just in Deloitte Digital. And, uh, and what, what we aspire to do, right? Or what, what do we do is that, you know, three things are really easy to remember. One is to think about, you know, from a strategy standpoint, right? How do we reimagine the future? What's that future going to be like, right? How are we going to reimagine that future customer or human experience as well as, you know, what's that journey is going to be like? And then we think about, you know, the technology aspect. How are we going to leverage, right? The um, ever-changing technologies to fulfill all these future in, um, you know, thinking of how we wanted that experience to be. And then thirdly is the creative part, right? How do we make it sexy, make it cool, make it usable, you know, um, and, uh, and easy for use for, you know, everyone in the market, right? So this is what we do as, uh, as Deloitte Digital. And uh, actually going down one slide. And uh, today actually, actually really wanted to thank, you know, the ServiceNow uh, partner as well too, right? We, we have been working very uh, closely together across the globe, as well as uh, Asia Pacific, as well as here in Hong Kong. So really thanks to them to, you know, inviting us to this hackathon, right? And, uh, and you know, our partnership with ServiceNow actually goes, goes a long way. As I said, you know, not only like our global relationship, actually we are actually awarded as the Asia Pacific uh, Partner of the Year as well. As you can see, we have actually, you know, a lot of familiar logos that you're seeing here in the Hong Kong market, you know, that we are working together. And this is just a sample of those, right? So hopefully, you know, throughout this hackathon, you know, that's, you know, definitely one of the platforms that you may be able to use. Um, so, you know, be able, you know, try to think about, you know, what innovations you can build with that, because, you know, just for your information, it's definitely one of the harder skills and platform out there in, uh, in the market. And with that said, right, uh, I wanted to actually play a video so for you to, you know, better understand what Deloitte Digital is about. Great. 
hopefully, um, you know, you, um, you, you guys had a good glimpse of, you know, what Deloitte Digital is about. But one of the very key important things, right, that you have seen just now is that, you know, I think we, had, we set forth to help with, you know, solving our client's problem especially solving our clients' most, you know, biggest as well as most complex problems, right? And, uh, and when we think about that, right, a lot of it, you know, has to tie with, you know, um, the world problems right now, right? You know, how, how we make, you know, make it a better world, right, to live. And, uh, and, but when we think about that, a lot of it comes down to human experience, right? How do we put, you know, um, humans in the middle, right? Well, as you think about it, right, we are all customers in the world, right? How, you know, everything that, you know, um, companies do is to think about how do they give us a better experience, right? And think about, you know, um, the, the metaverse, you know, that, that you guys hear a lot about right now. And think about, you know, uh, also, also like smart city, right? A lot of, you know, the facility kind of talk to these topics on blockchain and things like that just now, and IoT, things like that, right? So think about it, right? Even if we had to have a smart city, right? It's really to help us to be, you know, to be more comfortable to live better as a citizen, right, in, uh, in the city. Right. So that's something that, you know, that's the purpose of it. And also, even when we think about metaverse, right, you know, there are different things. Right. One is how are we, you know, saving like, for example, even carbon emission and things like that by making things virtual. Right. We can really have, you know, enjoy an experience virtually. So then we are, say, you know, doing, you know, good sustainability to uh, to the you know uh, environment as well as um, we are also bringing on online and offline experience right to uh, to people so then I may be able to look at something you know from the metaverse perspective but it can also bring me offline right so think about it. all these things that we do although it sounds cool and you know it's new technologies innovations and things but I think what's really important is to how do we drive that human centric experience right and this is I think what you guys you know, uh, should think about as you, you know, do your hackathon as well as even, you know, coming out in the future. It's really how do we change that experience for people? And uh, and also, you know, just wanted to touch on one point, right? As, uh, you know, just uh, just now, uh, Professor uh, Wang talked about, you know, the, the micro fund 2.0, right? On, um, on you know, the, the funding with Science Park, et cetera. We actually helped deliver a, uh, a project together actually with ServiceNow as well too, to really change that experience in terms of all the way from the application, you know, to the execution of the whole funding program. So then we make it easier, right, for startups to, to get started, right? As well as, you know, even the registration process is everything, like, sorry, we can go down one slide, yeah. On um, registration process and everything, you know, can be made uh, awesome and seamless, right? And this is what it's about, right? And a lot of you in Hong Kong may also, you know, be using like, for example, like the, the U program, right? The YUU program. That's also, you know, another another project that we have done in Deloitte Digital to, again, really change that experience on, you know, how do we do registration, redemption to, you know, understanding more about the customers, right? Based on all these data and providing the best offers, right? As well as best promotions to them. So, you know, so hopefully, you know, you guys take these in mind and think about how do we change that human experience through the leverage of technologies and digital and make it a better world for everyone. And uh, maybe just, you know, one last video wanted to, you know, give you an example of what we have done in uh, Italy to help change, you know, as well as solve the, the, the world's issue. Yeah. Italy has the lowest score in the EU gender equality index in the domain of work. By age 12, 50% of girls' career aspirations are influenced by stereotypes rooted in a tradition that marginalized women for centuries. In Milan, the number of statues celebrating great women is zero. That's why Terre des Hommes, one of the most active NGOs promoting gender equality, offered to the city's children a new perspective on the past to make them imagine a different future. Introducing the Discovery Billboards, the first child height billboard campaign inspiring a change in perspective and inviting children to discover female role models to look up to, like Rita Levi Montalcini, an Italian Nobel laureate who inspired a whole generation, Malala, who encouraged millions of women to fight for their emancipation, and many more. A campaign aimed not only at children, but at any adult who cares about their point of view. And in just a few hours, the debate reached every channel. This change of perspective is what serves in this 8 March. Terre des Hommes Italia has launched a petition that has affirmed that it is called a statue for the bambine. The 
io sono entusiasta che ci sia questa iniziativa, faremo in modo che le statue diventino statue vere di donne in tutta la città. A Milano su 121 statue non ce n'era una che raffigurasse una donna, da poco c'è la prima. Ecco la prima statua dedicata ad una donna, lo svelamento poco fa da parte del sindaco Sala. Great, thank you and uh, you know everyone enjoy the hackathon, you know. Italy has the lowest Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, as I said, like, you know, first, you know, first, thanks everyone. And uh, as, as, uh, as I said, right, um, leverage the opportunity of this hackathon, you know, as well as, you know, not only started, it just started here and hopefully afterwards in the future as well, you know, make an impact to the world with leveraging digital technologies. All right, thank you. And uh, I'll pass on to back to the facilitator. Thank you, Mr. Wong for the intro on Deloitte Digital and your expiring definition on innovation. Yes, today's problem is definitely multi-dimensional. And participants, you should think, how can your team bring a solution that is, like mentioned, sexy and creative? How can you elevate humans' experience and leave the world knowing that it was better than it was because of your innovation? This is perhaps one of your goal in Polyhack. And allow me to thank Mr. Wong and Deloitte Digital for a generous sponsorship and internship opportunities for Polyhack participants. So Mr. Wong mentioned ServiceNow, an amazing local platform. And this lead me to my introduction to Mr. Albert Lee from ServiceNow, our next speaker. But before I introduce Mr. Lee, let's first watch a video. Okay, season six. Oh, this will take forever. Or not. Do I just focus on when things don't work and not appreciate when they do? Hmm. So whatever is at work to pull all this off, it's working. As are those earrings. Even work works. I just booked this parking spot, this desk, and this conference room. I'm filing status reports on an app that I made. I'm not even a coder. And it works. I like your bag. Real-time ticket upgrade? Meaning I get to meet my childhood idol? That works. I need my dog, Joey Fatone. <laughs> CO2, CO2 levels. levels. Should I make? All this technology is helping the world work. So you can focus on making the world work better. So I say let's work. Or I think that's what we're both saying. When your digital solutions work, the world works. That's why the world works with ServiceNow. Hey, it was good, your highness. Introducing Mr. Albert Lee. Mr. Lee is ServiceNow's North Asia Managing, Managing Director. He has over two decades of extensive it and experience, ranging from SaaS, software, hardware, to telecom. Mr. Lee, please. Thank you, thank you, Romeo, for the introductions. Um, first of all, on behalf of uh, ServiceNow, uh, I would like to thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I think this partnership is very important, um, not only for the, uh, ServiceNow, but uh, also for the North Asia region as well. So uh, a little bit background about ServiceNow, um, we found at uh, 2004. So we, we are still a young company, um, around the same age as most of you, I guess. So um, indeed, uh, ServiceNow is one of, one of the fastest growing uh, cloud company, um, despite COVID uh, situations, um, over the last couple of years, we are still maintaining a very high year-on-year -year growth. Um, just like last quarter, we, we did 26% year-on-year growth. So you can understand that, you know, in terms of um, no matter how, how the economy situations, um, we are still going at that pace. That means the market potential and um, the customer or the organizations that require all these digital transformations requirement is, is there. Um, so we have been helping many customers doing the transformations at, um, as Alan mentioned earlier from Deloitte, you know, we, we have been helping many organizations like banks, like uh, local governments, utilities companies. So um, we see that there are a lot of potential there working with this customer, especially helping them solving their problem. Um, 
in globally, one of the good example that uh, we always share is um, during the COVID situations, we have been helping NBA or and also WNBA to finish their uh, um, seasons during COVID, where everyone is using our workflow um, to help them make sure that people are safe. They have got their in injections and, um, you know, during any quarantine period, um, we, we have got all those workflow checked and measured. So this is some of the use case that we see many customers uh, will be able to enjoy and also they can replicate as well. Um, indeed, as you can see, uh, uh, and uh, I earlier shared, uh, we are a workflow company. So we'll help customer in terms of um, using workflow to achieve their goal. Um, but at the end of the day, right, workflow is only the technologies. We only provide the technologies. We only provide the platform. Uh, more importantly, what we see, or you see the video earlier, we mentioned about the workflow, how it works, how we help um, the world works better. Indeed, um, most of the thing I'll see is about people. So indeed, people resonate very well when it comes to if they see the improvements and they can also make improvement themselves. So really what, what we would like in terms of having this partnership, uh, providing the technologies so that your team can help make the world better. As uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Chow mentioned earlier about you know, life 4.0, 5.0, 6.0, we are the technologies that can help uh, build um, well, well, we provide the foundations, but at the end of the day, it requires a lot of uh, new ideas to drive the innovations. So hopefully uh, with, our, with our platform, we can give you a, a really easy and no code experience so that uh, you can accelerate your ideas and innovate much faster. Um, what I'm going to share with you next is uh, I've invite uh, Vanessa, she is our director of strategies. So she will share a little bit more about how we can help in terms of this program and you can get more idea from her. So once again, thank you so much for the opportunity and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Um, first of all, I'd, I really believe in the vision that non-tech people should be able to create solutions as well. And that's what we really, we really believe at our organization. Um, mostly because a lot of the students here are not just computer science students. They're actually students from design business. And we really love this opportunity to use your platform. So before I pass over to our next speaker, Ms. Vanessa Chan, I'd like to share a video from ServiceNow.
the 21st century. If you're interested in joining a rocket ship where you're going to learn a ton from other smart people, a rocket ship where you're going to solve problems in innovative ways that hasn't been done before, a rocket ship which embraces incredible values and diversity at the company, ServiceNow is the place for you. What better place is there to really help your customers be successful, get value, and help humanity? There's not much out there that's better than that. Come on aboard, let's go. Join the rocket ship ride. Ms. Vanessa Chan is ServiceNow's head of corporate strategy of North Asia. She has been in the technology industry for over 15 years, playing various roles, including business development, strategic accounts and partnerships, corporate strategy and government relations. Ms. Vanessa Chan, please. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm so excited to be here today. Um, in the past few months, I have had the privilege to work with the organizers, and I'm so impressed by the passion and the drive, and we are so excited the uh, event is finally kicked off today. So, you know, a lot of times um, I go to career panels and I get asked by students like yourself, how should I think about my career? What should I do in the future? I'm a little bit lost. So my advice is always look for problems in the world. Think about what problems you want to be part of the solution. And here's one problem I see a lot in daily life, um, and I'm sure you do too. Have you ever been to like a hospital? Let's say you do like a full body checkup and they hand you a binder with lots and lots of forms. Right? Let's say you need to like do like 10 tests and you they ask you to hold up the folder and then they're gonna say, look at the green form and then go to the seventh floor, ask this doctor to sign it. And then after that, you go to the eighth floor and then there will be a nurse there and you ask them to look at this green form and then you, you take another three forms together to like the cashier on the third floor. And then you come back to the fifth floor to see us, right? Like these are the kind of conversations we see a lot in our daily life. And you have to ask yourself, it's 2022, how can it be? I get frustrated, right? Sometimes I get mad. Like, why do I need to fill out the same information five times? You have asked me that before. I swear I have given you my ID numbers before, right? Um, and, and that's the kind of pain and, and um, complexities our service now is trying to solve um, in the world. And, you know, when, and, and I hope, you know, throughout this um, competition, you're gonna grab, you know, develop a few skills and also knowledge of our service now that allow you to look at these problems with a bit more curiosity, uh, with passion, with empathy, and think about, you know, instead of being frustrated, and we're all humans, we will get frustrated. But then after you get the frustration out, you ask yourself, how can I solve this problem? What tools do I have to solve this problem? Who do I need to collaborate with to solve this problem? And that is the benefit of ServiceNow low code platform. It allows you to work on the problem and invite other people to solve the problems with you. And also, you know, a lot of times we look at innovations. We want to work on big projects. We want to be part of a big innovation. But don't forget, right, even a big idea like gravity starts by observing an apple falling from a tree. It starts from something really, really small. Never underestimate a very, very small problem in front of you. Get very curious, get deep, think about it. Think about it again and again. Think about what prototypes you need to build to get other people excited about the potential solution. And you know, with service now, with this tool you have, you can build a prototype, you can build a tool, a, an app very, very quickly. Um, and we want a lot, a lot of these ideas out there so that we can together eventually have a big innovation. And that's usually how big innovation happens. So yeah, enjoy the competition. Uh, we're super excited to be part of um, this competition. And we would also like to thank, you know, Polly Yu um, and also everyone, you know, all the facilitators, all the organizers, as well as all the partners that do this with us. We're super excited about what you are going to discover and also the new ideas that you are going to come out from this competition. And we can't wait to see what are your suggestions. How can we make the world work better? Thank you. 
Thank you, Ms. Chan. Thank you so much. Honestly, we get so used to being different, being so frustrated to different situations, even when we know that it needs transformation. Well, some people might lack the technical skills in the current te technology landscape. They want to make a change, but they couldn't. And honestly, our team at Polyhack, me and Scotty, we are simply blown away by the power of service now, by how easy it is for people who are usually regarded as like non-tech people. And they can build amazing things for just to change the situation that they're frustrated. This is amazing. This is why we are so excited about this partnership, bringing this amazing tool to our participants and sharing your vision as well. And of course, thank you for generous support to Polyhack. Well, thank you all speakers for welcoming speeches. So before we reveal um, the other parts of our program, let's take a pause here and all come together and take a group picture because we have a lot of uh, unfamiliar faces and we'd love to put you on our platform, you know, create a community at Polyhack because that's what we're really here for. It's a hackathon, but we're actually here for a community. So everyone, please open your cameras if you are ready. Um, pretty up, let's all take a pretty picture. Okay, so tech team. Gotti, should you turn off your screen share? Oh yes, let me turn off my screen share. Everyone get ready. We want to look good in this photo for sure. <laughs> and we will see this in our socials. So tech team, give a cue. We're waiting for two more people. All right, ready? Yep. Smile. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. So let's move on to the most exciting, one of the most yeah. exciting parts of our program. It is. It is. Okay. Let. I'll wait you to share the screen. Awesome. So. Participants, now's the time that we have all been waiting for. This year's Polyhack's problem statements. Our statements hail from three major domains that heavily impact the future. And we present to you 11 statements for you to tear apart and hack away at. What breakthrough can be made to our lives in 4.0? Okay, our first domain. Our three problem statements for fintech touch upon usability, open banking, and algorithmic trading. Our first statement is, usability has been a consistent problem in digital banking. Features and demands of select demographics are not readily accessible in an enjoyable and convenient way. How might a bank revamp their products to provide exceptional customer journeys and experiences? Number two, with the advent of open banking, what type of open banking functionalities will be the most relevant to the Gen Z audience? What would the customer journey be like to ensure customers remain loyal to their chosen banks and enhance their engagement? You can consider local open banking initiatives such, such as Hong Kong's HKMA Open API. Now our third statement, if you buy or sell a large order, say 1 million shares of Apple or 10K of Bitcoin, your order size will move the market. It will have market impact. Let's assume you have access to level two real-time market data or price quote. Please design an algorithm to minimize the market impact to place the large order. Your algorithm will observe level two quotes and split up one large order into a series of small orders with self-adaptable pace. Now, we have one more secret um, problem statement that we will be re re revealing on our Discord channel um, this evening. So let's move on to our smart city problem statements. Yes, smart city. We have three problem statements for smart city that touch upon data cycles, circular economy, and facility management. Our first statement, the Consumer Council of Hong Kong has released a product price watch system online, which helps consumers compare prices across merchants. The current system is not perfectly sustainable with efficient and fast data collection and requires innovative solutions to sustain the system. 
How might we design the data cycle to ensure its sustainability in terms of data collection and data consumption? Second statement, how might we implement a circular economy to handle waste made from the food and beverage industry locally? Third, how might we leverage IoT technology to improve the booking systems of public sports facilities? Design a system to aid both the public member who uses the services and the facility administrators that manages the facilities. And also this evening, we have one more surprise problem. So look forward, blockchain. Okay, so for blockchain, the three problem statements for blockchain touch upon supply chains, NFTs, and verification. Problem statement one, there is a lack of alignment in responsibility and sustainability framework across supply chains. How might we improve the transparency, accountability, and manageability of daily needs? Problem statement two, how might we implement NFT technologies in governmental institutions? Problem statement three, verifying a candidate's experience, education, and achievement all relies on a self-created curriculum vitae. How might we improve the exchange of CVs from candidates to potential employers? Now we have one more secret problem statement to be revealed. And this one, I can give a little hint. It's about metaverse. So everyone stay tuned to our Discord. So that is our problem statements for the three exciting domains. Well, even more exciting is our prizes. And we are proud to share prizes, which is possible. Thank you again with the generous sponsorships from our partners. This year, our prizes hit a big pot of 150,000 Hong Kong dollar in cash, tech, and internship opportunity prizes. Let's see the breakdown of our 17 available prizes. Okay, let's go through one by one. First place, 50K cash Hong Kong dollar worth and Deloitte internship direct in entry. Second place, 30K Hong Kong dollar and Deloitte internship Deloitte, uh, direct entry. Third place, 15K Hong Kong dollar and Hong Kong Blockchain Society internship. Best service now award, 15K, 10K cash and 5K worth of tech. Best Deloitte award, 10K cash and 5K worth of tech. Best Quantech Capital Research Award, 15K cash and Quantech internship. And there's more. Best blockchain award, 2.5K cash and blockchain, Hong Kong Blockchain Society internship. Best IoT award. 2.5K worth of RS component funding to your project. Best FinTech award, 2.5K cash plus internship opportunities. Entrepreneurship award, 1K Hong Kong dollar cash and seven merit awards, which you will have 1K Hong Kong dollar cash. The specific criteria of each prize as well as judging rubric will be released via Discord. And hopefully it can help you to guide you to build your solutions to a fruitful journey. Now we and, all, oh, sorry. Yeah, so now we can't get there alone. Just like how we needed our sponsors to help us guide us through this journey. We need our mentorships to guide you with your projects. So here is our private mentorship se uh, session system. We will post the information of our mentors in this hackathon on our Discord, and you will be able to read through the background of our mentors and try to find the right mentor that matches your project vision. The leader of your team, or yourself, if you're working alone, should book a mentorship session on our website on this link. We will also put on Discord. Now, after you have successfully booked a session, you need to submit a pre-mentorship form by May 23rd. The mentors of our hackathon are renowned industry veterans with multiple years of experience and expertise. These private sessions are speed mentorships, so your team will need to express your project, team background, potential question areas, and progress prior to these, prior to these session for a productive session. 
and team formation. So uh, you should be able to find your teammates on our Discord channel. And this is optional. So if you have already your own team formation in mind, you can certainly go with your own. Or we also welcome individual participants to participate in Polyhack. And uh, before May 27, you're still free to adjust your team formation. And there is a lot of flexibility. For example, you can split up into two teams or even merge with other teams that you have discussed on Discord. You, you should definitely use and leverage our Discord channel to uh, communicate with other participants. And finally, you should define your team on the 27th of May with your project ideas. After that, your team formation is final. So May 27 is the deadline for team formations. So a lot of dates, don't worry, but we have prepared so much for the Polyhack. And this, has, this is honestly the many highlights of Polyhack, our event catalog. We have more than 15 carefully created workshops, panel talks, and live events. We have broken down our two-week hack into two sections. The first week is to research, ideate, reform, and define the project. The second week is to build your idea. And honestly, this is the opportunity to test your technical skills with your idea from week one. So let's go through each by each. On the 22nd of May, you will have the first blockchain ideation workshop by the Hong Kong Blockchain Society. This workshop is great for beginners to advance for system design. 23rd, you have the blockchain fireside chat with Sean Lee. Sean Lee is a crypto and blockchain veteran. And in this chat, you can have a high level view of blockchain solutions and ask questions in this semi-casual event. 24th, you will have a workshop from Deloitte Digital and you can learn about the digital transformation initi initiative in Deloitte, their strategies. And afterwards, you will have an NFT and GameFi panel talk. In this panel talk, it is an intriguing talk of five NFTs and GameFi leaders discussing hot topics in the space. 25th, you have a design thinking professor open forum. You can join this essential workshop on ideation and design thinking with a faculty member of the renowned PolyU School of Design. And I recommend you to come with a question and add to the discussion. After that is FinTech and Smart City panel talk, where our distinguished guest will be discussing the future of the space. 26, we will have a workshop uh, from ServiceNow, where you will be taught to build high functionality apps with low code with their platform. After that is master the art of pitching. In this uh, workshop, you will learn from the master himself, Dr. Charleston Sin the Hong Kong MIT Node Director. He has taught and led many successful pitches. So definitely, if you have a chance, attend this workshop. 27th, Metaverse Talk Panel. And Metaverse is a hot topic. Join this panel talk uh, on virtual reality and this new mode of life. Well, Metaverse is still in development. And in this talk, you can find out how to join the projects that will actually change tomorrow. 25th sorry, 28th, which is your project idea submission day. So in this day, you will have to submit your project idea. At the evening, at night, you will have a workshop from Google Cloud. Our speaker from Cairo, Egypt, is a cloud champion innovator and Google Cloud authorized trainer. In this workshop, you can learn more about the platform in an action-packed hour. And I'll hand the next week, week two, to Scotty. Okay, so now that you have had the opportunity to come up with an idea, uh, you know, you challenge what you actually thought of the problem statement, and you verify that it's a problem that is worth solving. It's now time to build. So starting on the 30th of May, it's when you start to build. Um, so the first workshop is by ServiceNow, which is building apps as citizen developers. And on the same day, we have our a decentralized application development workshop, which is led by our very own GDSC blockchain lead. And here you'll have the opportunity to build a, a simple blockchain app and get your hands dirty. Um, okay. 
And next, on the 31st of May, we have our very own Professor Jack Poon coming in to uh, teach us how to build DeFi solutions on Ethereum network. And then on the first day of, of June, we have Huawei coming in with a technical seminar. On the 2nd of June, we also have ServiceNow coming in with a workshop on building integration components. And finally, the day that we all are waiting for, the 3rd of June is our final project submission. And we are also students and we know the, the stressful time. So the deadline is one minute before midnight. So this is a point where all your project that you've been building, you know, working really hard for the two weeks, this is where you show what you've done. Okay. And then on Saturday is when our judges will be reviewing the submissions and finally releasing the shortlist, the top 10 teams to finally pitch on the final day of Polyhack on the 5th of June. And it will be an opportunity for everyone here to finally see who are the best 10 teams to come up with solutions to our very difficult prom statements. And then we'll finally have our award ceremony. Okay, so now that we have given you an overview of Polyhack, these are the first three events coming up. Now we have tonight, the first design thinking workshop. And this I highly, highly recommend because design thinking is int integral in coming up with a solution after you've fully understood the problem. And it will be led by three UX UI designers from HSBC. Next, we have um, the blockchain fireside chat where you will be able to come in, chill, chill with us, listen to our expert speaker, Sean Lee, and ask your questions. And next, we have the NFT, Metaverse, and Blockchain uh, blockchain panel speaker, uh, panel event. And here, you will get to listen to five industry leaders on in the space. Um, you are muted. All right, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yes, so this wraps up our event calendar. Well, it might look like a lot, but honestly, our team have put on a lot of effort, a lot of time to find our speakers to plan these carefully created events for you. And we strongly recommend you to attend all of them because you will definitely learn a lot from these industry experts. So thank you all for coming to our opening ceremony uh, from wherever time zone you are. Uh, we want to wish you all good luck. As students ourselves, we know how exciting and how thrilling, how nervous it is to join a hackathon, uh, building solutions, thinking about whether judges will like it. It's exciting. And this two-week adventure that we have designed, really hope that you will learn something, take away from it. And really, we can't wait to see your hacks. All this information that we have mentioned today will be available in our Discord channel. So please, 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 yeah, I think this is like so many times that we have mentioned, remember to join our Discord channel. The Discord channel link should be in the email that you have received before. Or if you don't have it, if you forgot it, never mind, the QR code is in the left upper hand corner. So grab your phone, scan the code, best, download the app so you can make sure that all the notifications will be sent to you straight away. And of course, we also have this WhatsApp announcement group. Uh, because we also heard some comments from the community, uh, some feedback that they don't really use Discord. Um, Discord's user interface might not be something that they're used to. That's why we have created a group for announcements. This uh, allows you to get your uh, announcements, all the updates uh, straight on your WhatsApp. But we do have to say that most detailed announcements would be on Discord. WhatsApp is just for brief, short, updated announcements. Okay, so uh, we now open, uh, uh, should we open Q&A? Do we have time for that? Or should we move to Discord, Scotty? Um, we can have a short Q&A, I think. Sure. Let's engage our so audience. We open. Any questions? If not, you are free to leave this meeting. Thank you all for coming here. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for coming and happy hacking.
if you have any questions, we are always on Discord. Our whole team is everywhere because we are all on exchange. So every time <laughs> zone, we've got you. We've got you. No worries. We got you. Any time zone, someone's awake, someone's online to answer your questions. Yes.